Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We
direction. Talk to me, Lord, in the language that I will understand. That I will not go back home to where I came. It doesn't matter how dirty you are in the coming. It doesn't matter how holy you get as you think. But if it is a holy, you must not repent. He said, you must be most holy. You must be perfected. And if you are not holy at all, the Lord will make you holy. He said, Father, speak the word of God be into me. In the name of Jesus Christ, spoken and prayed. Amen. Amen.
Brethren, what is holiness? Holiness is separation and dedication. That is holiness. Separation and what? Dedication. Separated from the affairs of the world. Being separate from the world and is lost. And be dedicated to God. That is holiness. Be separated from the world and eat lustful affairs. And be dedicated to God and His godly affairs. So, for you and I to be holy, we must be separated. From this world and it's lost. And we must do everything we can to dedicate our life, our breath, everything about us to God. But then we know what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Follow peace with all men. And what? Holiness, without which, without which, no one shall want to see the Lord. For without holiness, every other thing is a ticket to hell. No wonder the Bible told us in the book of Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 7. For God has not called us unto ungodliness. For God has not called us unto ungodliness, but unto holiness. Hmm. The Lord called you and I from the world into his holy dwelling, that you and I might be holy. The Lord has not separated you from the world to make you more worthy. No. Mm -hmm. The Lord has not separated you from the world to make us more worthy. But rather, He separated us from the world to make us godly. And everything godly is holy. It's so good. Yes. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 5 and 8. Blessed are the holy in heart. Blessed are all the holy in heart. For they shall not see the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart. Pureness means holiness. For they shall see the Lord. It means cost. And the dirty in heart, for they shall see the devil be today. <laughs> and anyone that sees the devil be today is in doom forever. For they shall see the devil is a road. And I pray, whatever it takes to an eye to be holy, the Lord shall do it for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. But then the Bible told us in second. Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 14 to 18. The being ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Hmm. What fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion? What is bringing together light and darkness? Light and darkness cannot dwell together in the same room. It's not possible. Tell me what is that thing that is bringing you and sit together? Cut it up now. Because it can never tally. What? Concord. Let's see. And what concord 
Has Christ been there? Or what part had he that believed in an infidel? And what agreement had the temple of God with either? It's a question that everyone needs to answer in the heart. For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my what? People. If the Lord will say, My eyes cannot behold sin, how then can the Lord dwell in sin? Is that Richard Johnson answer that question? If the Lord categorically says, My eyes cannot behold iniquity, how then do you expect he, that his eyes cannot go see to dwell inside sin? Is it possible? It's not possible. Then why will you allow any friend to tell you holiness is not achievable? That means they are telling you you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Let them be lie. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. 17. Therefore, Come out from among them. I don't know where you are now. The Lord is telling you, come out from them. Set yourself now. Set that place that you are. Is that place godly? Is that place holy? That place you call companion environment. Those people who are your friends, set your friends. Your friends can either take to hell or heaven. Whoever you move with can either send you to eternal damnation or eternal life in the kingdom of God. But this, this is the message. Go out from the moment and be your separate. I said this now, holiness is about separation and what dedication. Be ye separate. Say it, Emmanuel. Is that what I said? Your book? Say the Lord. And touch not on pleading anything of plain. Touch not on pleading. Say not on pure. Take not on pleading. Anything of plain must be avoidable. And I will what? receive you. Verse 18. And Will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my son and my daughter, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Do you want to be a child of God? You must do everything to pour yourself of every unrighteousness. Do you want to be a, a lover of God? And that Lord, you, you profess to have a God, be acceptable. You must do everything to make yourself. Holy. But, uh, it is very, very imperative that our body, our soul, everything about us must be holy in order to see the Lord on that day. If any part of us is polluted, the whole body is what? Polluted. Don't say, okay, my heart is holy, while your tongue is not holy. That your tongue is sent to my hell. Say, if this hand will make you to see what you do, cut it off. Because it knows when the hand is dirty, every part of the body is also dirty. And the Bible told us in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, have you there for these promises? What are the promises? Say, I will be your father, you will be my own son. Have you therefore this promise is dearly blood? Let us free ourselves from all holiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. Perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. The Lord wants us to be perfect in all our creation. The Lord wants us to be holy in everything we do. Have you therefore this promise? What is that promise that God has promised you? But remember, I said, 
give not that which is holy to the dog. Holy blessing must locate holy people. Every blessing from the Lord is holy. And you must preserve yourself holy to be able to receive that blessing. No authority towards holiness. Anything you want, want to bring before God must be presented purely and in pure state. Whatever you want to present before God must be presented holy and in pure state. You want to sing, make sure your heart and everything is being presented before God in holiness. You want to read the Bible, set your heart. I'm about to do this now. Am I holy to come before the Lord? So that we will not do it on this anger. And I pray today, every service you have ever rendered to God, all this anger, this mercy speak for us today in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Holy God will not accept unholy things or unholy services of anyone. Hence, past transformation and sanctification is what required. We must order, order our body before we can stand before God to do anything. Romans 12, 1 to 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It means Sense render is seen is what unreasonable service. And no unreasonable service can be accepted before the Lord. Do you want to render service to God? Make sure it's rendered in holiness so that it can be responsible and acceptable before the Lord. That's true. And be not conformed to this world, but be it transformed. Transformation is demanded. Be yet transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove that is that good and what acceptable and perfect will of God. I stop here. So we stand up and say, Father, make me holy. Mm -hmm. Lord, make me holy, Lord. Lord, make me holy. I want to from now on every service I must render to you the pure and holy services. The Father from now on, I am tired of rendering all reasonable service back to you. I want to be responsible and reasonable for you. Amen. 
I want to pray anything that will be cut off from me, from my body, from my heart, from my neighbor, for me to be able to enter into your kingdom. Even if it is it take me to enter your kingdom as a people, Father, cut it off. Don't pity me. Cut it off. In the name of Jesus Christ, open a prayer. Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Son to the most high God. Amen. Almighty Amen. power and strengthen you. Amen. May his holiness increase in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we hearers of the word of God today. May we be also doers of it in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. 
Shepherd of a soul. 